Clearly, it didn't want to warn me. All right, let's just go down this road full throttle just to watch the dummy have a bad time. And wow, that's I think that's a new route as well. Come on, fall out. How are you holding on? What is going on, all you beautiful people? Dre here, and welcome back to Beam NG Drive, the very beautiful Beam NG Drive, because today we're checking out a new major update that has come out that has graphically changed the game once again. And I gotta say, we're on Utah. This has been one map that's been totally overhauled, and it is so pretty. It was already pretty to begin with, but man, from a distance especially, this map just looks so good now. So yes, yeah, so there's been a lot of new things added. I think this is probably one of them right here. What the hell is this place? Oh, uh, okay, this is the campground. Juniper Grove. Oh, it sounds so nice. We'll have to go over there later. Uh, but yeah, we're checking out the, uh, the Utah today to see what else has been added. I believe this is all new as well. The AJ Auto. Can we actually... Wow, we can actually go in there. We'll have to drive into there later. But yeah, there's been a lot of new things added to the map. We'll explore those. And we're checking out one mod today. Only one of them, but it should be a good one. And it's this little fella right here. It is the Crash Hard Dummy. So yes, we've had a dummy before in BeamNG, but this is a new one. And it looks really, really good. It's supposed to be realistic weight. It's supposed to act realistically. And uh, yeah, it makes it a little more fun when there's a... A human involved in crashes, as sad as that sounds. I mean, it's just much more re rewarding when you can make this guy flop around when you're hitting things. So yeah, we're gonna do exactly that, starting off with, now this guy works in a bunch of different vehicles. All the crash hard vehicles and some of the official vehicles. So let's, uh, let's actually give him a little drive here and see how we can do. So his hands don't actually work. I'm a little upset about that, but hey, that's fine. Oh my god, look at how good this map looks. Now that we're actually just driving on it, this looks so amazing. So, I've put his seatbelt on. You have the option to either tie him in or not. He has a two-point harness on. You can put four-point harnesses on too. Or, obviously, no seatbelt at all. So let's see. Already, already, that, that was more me than you, buddy. I am so sorry. Is your arm okay? I don't know how, how you're still driving, but that's impressive. He's actually broken his chair. For the record, that's what our car already looks like. So, yeah, we, we banged it up pretty good. That's for sure. All right, I made it to the actual highway here because I want to give myself a chance to actually have a little bit of road because it's not very easy driving a car from the back seat. But I wanted to give this guy a little bit more speed here. At least do a decent crash in this thing. Also, this is the car with the hydraulics. We must see a dummy with the hydraulics on it in a second here. First of all, though, this car's not very fast. It's an old beauty here that's really not focused on speed. So we're only going 130 miles per hour. But that should be pretty good. I'm going to yeet it off this jump. And hold on, buddy. It's going to hurt. I want to see if we can pull him out of the vehicle. Oh, well, he's still in his seat. That's amazing. We literally went off a cliff. Where are we right now? So yeah, before we were up there, now we're down here. I mean, his legs, he's, he's actually doing okay. I wanted to see him get ripped apart. We're going to need a faster car for that. All right, before we switch to a new vehicle, I got to try the lowrider version. So the other one didn't work, but this one should have... Yes. Okay, it's not as as bouncy as I remember. I thought we, we were able to get a lot of air with this thing. Let me actually just see from the outside view. <laughs> I thought it would do way more than this. I mean, we're getting off the ground. It, it just doesn't seem so bad when you're actually in the back of the car. Uh, so yeah, even with the seatbelt off, looks like aside from hitting his head off the top a little bit, he's totally fine. <laughs> All right, this should get a bit more speed. We got the Barstow Track Sport, as you can see. And uh, I think we're going to kill this guy this time, at least hopefully. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I mean, it's a dummy. It's okay. He's got no seatbelt on, too, so that should be extra fun. All right, I'm going to turn this just a little bit. And full throttle ahead, dummy. Let's see how you can do in the old Barstow. See how I can do while driving like this slightly sideways. This is a little confusing. All right, already at 80 miles per hour, though. He has no seatbelt on, and you can clearly tell that. He's starting to shift to the side due to the G-forces. Uh, he's not going to stay in the car, I don't even think. Man, if we can shoot him out the front, that would be great. 
Okay, get out some serious speed now. 130, just shifted into the next gear. I don't think this is that long. Yeah, I think we're gonna. Ooh, I don't, I don't, I haven't been in the tunnel in so long. Is it hard to drive through there? Well, okay, I guess we're not going into the tunnel. I don't even know what happened. I have no idea. He's still holding on. Dude, are you okay? What is going on here, buddy? Okay, well, we haven't ripped him apart. I'm actually impressed. It's very hard to destroy this crash dummy, and I mean, that kind of should be the point. How, how, how's the bar stow doing? Yeah, a slightly warped frame, just slightly. All right, let's try and uh, get this guy to buckle up now. Let's do the four-point belt. I feel like he's going to need it in this. I just want to see how good this works compared to the last crash. So there we go. He should have his seatbelt on now. And, oh, was that the, the right camera? Yeah, that's right, because I moved my re my relative camera around everywhere. So, yeah, we're just going to sit in the back once again. All right, this time you should be buckled in better, too. So here we go. Let's try this once again. Oh, oh, he's, he's leaning. Oh, he's leaning. Dude, did, did you put the seatbelt on? Dude, there is definitely no chance that he has the seatbelt on right now. Maybe last time he had a seatbelt on, and now that I enabled it, I, it, like, glitched out. I have no idea. But he definitely doesn't have a seatbelt on. That's fine. We don't need safety here anyways. I like that he's trying to shift himself into the seat. Oh. Oh, man. I'm really bummed we didn't get to see that. What the hell is going on here? Hi. How you doing? Hi. How you doing there, buddy? Okay. So that would be probably a deadly crash. I mean... He's got the steering wheel in his neck right now, so that's that's generally not a good a, a good sign. And we basically hit that rock and just stopped. Look at how small it is. All right, I want to get a side view of him crashing, so I'm gonna try my best. Oh god, to drive like this, this is fun. All right, we're we're just gonna go for it. I have no idea where we're going, <laughs> and it doesn't matter because already we crashed. We did that at the perfect time though. Oh, dude, we can't seem to get him to fall out of the car. I've been really trying, and uh, he's close, but no cigar. All right, let's just try that again. We're just going to go full throttle straight. No idea how long we're going to last. He seems pretty ha happy about this, though. I love the shifting, like the shaking. This is such a good physics game. I'm actually amazed we're still going. Okay, bad things are about to happen, I think. Yep. Dude, you just... He just, you just got pushed down here. Oh, man, where are we? What happened to us? All right, so yeah, that was a look at the crash hard dummy. We're going to have him join us, but it's really not going to be the focus of the rest of this episode. Uh, yeah, I thought we'd bring out the Piccolina here. It's something that we haven't really used much, and it's a Baja version. So obviously Utah, but I mean, I feel like this just kind of fits here. So this should be fun. And this should be pretty speedy as well. So, yeah, we're going to check out some of the new locations on Utah. Just explore this map, see if there's any points of interest that we could possibly uh, have some fun with. And, yeah, just have some simple fun. Now, I did want to stop off at this uh, giant... Like, who, who, who lives here to the point where they need this big of a repair shop? But, yeah, I wanted to check this giant thing out because you could actually pull in. And, uh, I mean, it's the small details, man. I don't even know... Can you use this? That'd be amazing if you could lift yourself up. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. But, I mean, they didn't need to keep this open, but they added it because they love their game, clearly. And details are everything. All right, so let's get out of here. That is a giant location. We also got a gas station here and convenience store. What is this? Auto sales. Doesn't look like they're getting much sales right now. That's too bad. Well, when you don't have any cars on your lot, that's a pretty good sign that you're not going to get many sales. All right, let's do some off-roading here. Okay, that's a bad sign. Already, I hit something and I think broke something. But look at this, though. This looks so good. Like, I understand BMNG isn't the most detailed of games, but over the years, they have truly turned a quite ugly game into something that is quite beautiful, as you can see. And, I mean, it doesn't have to be that pretty. It's all about the vehicle destruction, but it's nice that they're adding things like this. And nice, nice, nice landing there. So, yeah, we got a river down here. I don't remember this, but it could have been there. I have no idea. That's something I would like to see maybe in the future is, like, wave physics and water physics. Because that's somewhere where I think BMG could improve, especially with the few boat mods that are in the game. Be nice to get some more boats and planes. We definitely need to go that route. 
All right, where? What the hell did I just stumble upon? See, this is why I like drive driving out to the mi to the middle of nowhere. You, st you stumble upon things. What is this place? Is it just like a hangout? Is it a picnic? Well, it's a picnic bench, obviously. But what? Is it just like a campground? Oh yeah. The, oh, this is the camping place. Okay, I'm not crazy. I, I was like, is this a weird camping place? But yes, indeed it is. So they added a campground. At least I don't think this was in the old game, and I saw it in the mention of the update. So yeah, this is probably all new and we have just a good old Utah campground. Ah, there we go. The communal toilet, isn't it great? I, I personally love camping. There's just nothing better than getting out to the middle of nature and uh, yeah, just camping with some people. Okay, this is gonna hurt. And we're good, S still totally good. That's the benefit ha of having a rear engine, I guess. All right, what is this coming up? So we have uh, a giant, that is obviously a ramp. You know we have to try that. Uh, but yeah, okay, so this is the mine. We have an underground mine. We'll definitely explore that later, but I'm seeing this jump and you know I have to try this. Is that gonna be easy? Oh, it's on a curve? I don't know if we'll be able to get up much speed then and actually do it. But we should be able to do a little bit of speed. I, I gotta say, this is why I love the Utah map, though. So many of the other BeamNG maps fo focus on, like, city driving and all that stuff. I love the off-road roads, things like this, you know, the dirt paths and the weird abandoned areas. This just, this is why Utah is such a great map, and I'm so glad they decided to update it. All right, so let's focus... And, oh god, okay, I... Dude, I don't know if I'll be able to do that at any speed. That's gonna be real hard. Alright, let's just see if we can do it just from straight here. That alone with the curve. Okay, so that's not as bad, but obviously getting up any sort of speed is gonna be very difficult. That was actually a smooth landing there. Not much of a landing pad on this one. <laughs> How you doing there, dummy? <laughs> you okay, buddy? All right, hold on, Mr. Dummy. Okay, really hold on. Jesus, I can't <laughs> I can't even get to the ramp. Okay, here we go. This is probably about as fast as I can realistically get it. And damn it. How am I so bad at this? All right, well, my failure of a jump aside, we have a giant mine we can explore. Actually, I don't even know if it's giant or not, but you can obviously get inside of it, and I feel like the Piccolina is perfect for this. So, uh, wow. Oh, wow, the, the sounds change. That sounds so good. But yeah, we obviously have an old abandoned mine here. And uh, please tell me this opens up and we can actually play around in here. That would be amazing. Let's actually check out this from... Oh, 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 almost stalled it. Let's try and start it up. There we go, there we go, there we go. I got it. Oh, this looks so good. I, I love the smoke effects. Something's going on, though. I, I can't put it into gear. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I did, but sure, I'll take it as long as I can get through here. I thought we'd just go back to this view, because I really like this view, and uh, yeah, it's good to see the dummy's perspective. Now, there is lights, or the lights have been updated, I should say. So let's try out those things. It's still rather bright in here, but they should be uh, more realistic beams now, which is nice to see. I don't know why it's so bright in here. I mean, it's not like there's much light sources. Oh my god, though, look at this place. All right, well, what do we got here? So that's obviously some old mining equipment. I don't know if I went the one the right way or not. By the way, my door opened up, so this is actually... Whoa! Dude got in the other seat! How'd you get in the other seat? So nobody's driving now. I just have a passenger. Great. All right, well, let's keep going. I don't want to go too fast in case this gets really thin. This is amazing, though. I need more underground maps. Because I didn't know I wanted this, but now I do. Okay, so it looks like there's multiple entranceways. We're going to keep going through the main part of the mine. This is obviously not the main part. I thought we would just come up here. All right, so let's pull back. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I, now I can see where the lighting has changed. Looking directly at them, that looks so much better. Okay, that's exciting. So, yeah, they could have put this little mine tunnel in that was unimpressive or anything. But they actually went all out. What the hell? Is that a drop-off? Oh, no. Oh, no. you got to be kidding me. Oh, God. Oh, this doesn't even feel like BeamNG right now. I'm in, like, a vehicle survival game right now. I guess technically BeamNG is a vehicle survival game, if you think about it. But, uh, yeah, it just it doesn't feel like the game that I know and love. I love it more now, though. Look at how beautiful this is in here. 
All right, we are making it. The Piccolina was a good choice. It's small. Uh, we definitely wouldn't be able to get through here with anything that's too wide. The Piccolina is about perfect for this. And look at that. Well, that's not dangerous at all. Is there anything down there? No, just water and death, basically. All right, great. Well, we made it past it. Engine's having a hard time in here. I just noticed my oil temp's really, really hot. I don't know if it's the air on the outside or why my oil temp's so hot, but we made it all the way through and to the other side. Danger. The other side didn't have a danger side, did it? Clearly, it didn't want to warn me. All right, let's just go down this road full throttle just to watch the dummy have a bad time. And wow, that's I think that's a new route as well. Come on, fall out! How are you holding on? Yes, we did it! We got the dummy out of the car. <laughs> but yeah, the more I look around the map, the more amazed I am. There is a literally pretty much anything for everyone. What you can think of is on this map. Trust me. Oh, God. Okay. The Piccolina is extremely top-heavy, guys. I'm not normally this bad of a driver. I'm not a good driver, but this thing is... You know what? I think he actually works in the hopper as well. Let's try the hopper out. All right, there we go. Not that this one's gonna be that much easier. It's also extremely top heavy. I mean, it's a Wrangler, so it's to be expected. This one at least feels a little more nimble. All right, let's see if we can jump this bad boy this way, and then we'll see if we can even do it the other way. Oh yeah, no problem at all. Oh, dummy almost went through the front. I saw that. Oh, dude, this is amazing. The mixture of this mod in this update is just perfect because this is one of the coolest mods I've seen in a long time. And obviously one of the coolest updates. I mean, there's not much new, but it's graphically just so great now. All right, put on your prayer cap, dude, because I don't think this is gonna work well. That being said, the hopper I've underestimated. It's much faster than I remember. This is the off-road version though, so it's got a little more torque. <laughs> I didn't even hit that right. Oh man, I don't, there's no way though. There's no way we'd be able to do it. All right, going at it again. Hopefully this time we can be somewhat straighter. There we go. That's good, actually. Ah! <laughs> Not even close. A lot better that time, though. Oh, and I found the airport. So, yes, there's a little mini airport now with a plane? But, yeah, guys, honestly, there is just so much new added to this map. A lot of small things and whatnot, but a lot of big things as well. So... I mean, Utah really is one of the best maps in my opinion. It's got the highway, so you could actually focus on speed. Going up into the mountains, you got some of the best tr drifting uh, courses that are in this game, and I wish I was a good drifter so I could show off that. Uh, but you can do stunt jumps. You got the broken uh, bridge there. Sorry, not bridge. Oh, yeah, it is a bridge. Never mind. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but, yeah, there's just so many new things. We got this thing being built over here. I mean, I, I, I could have a couple episodes sh showing you guys all this new stuff. Uh, underground garage there. And I saw so many mineshaft tunnels around here. There really is just a lot of things to explore. You got the dirt roads, of course, great for rallying and whatnot. If you go over here, though, I noticed uh, there was a bunch of holes in the ground. And it's going into the mineshafts. So, you, like, you can actually fall into these. And those are everywhere. Uh, that's just one of the many ones that I've found. So, yeah, I got to say I'm really impressed with this update. As always with uh, BMNG, they always do a great job. They only update this game maybe a handful of times a year, and they've never disappointed me before. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the new beautiful Utah and the new Crash Hard Dummy. I think we'll be playing a lot more with that guy because it's just much more enjoyable when you're crashing with people involved as well. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do want to download this mod, by the way, link will be in the description. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.